Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. The book follows Harry Potter's fifth year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. As the story begins, Harry is at his Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon's house for the summer. He is isolated from the magical world since the events at the Triwizard Tournament, where Lord Voldemort has returned to power. Harry experiences a Dementor attack while outside with his cousin Dudley and instinctively uses magic to defend them both, which results in a disciplinary hearing at the Ministry of Magic for underage magic use. During his summer, Harry is whisked away to Number 12, Grimald Place, the ancestral home of Sirius Black. The house serves as the headquarters for the Order of the Phoenix, a secret organization led by Albus Dumbledore dedicated to fighting Voldemort and his Death Eaters. Harry reunites with his friends Ron and Hermione and learns more details about the Order and Voldemort's activities. Returning to Hogwarts, Harry and his peers encounter Dolores Umbridge, a Ministry of Magic official appointed as the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Umbridge gradually imposes oppressive rules at the school and denies any assertion that Voldemort is back. In resistance to Umbridge's regime and the Ministry's propaganda, Harry, along with Ron, Hermione, and other students, form Dumbledore's Army, D.A., a group where they can practice and learn practical defense against the dark arts. Harry frequently experiences intense psychic connections to Voldemort, often resulting in painful headaches and troubling visions. This includes seeing Arthur Weasley being attacked by a snake in the Ministry of Magic. Dumbledore is concerned about the connection and instructs Severus Snape to teach Harry a clumency, shielding the mind against external influence and intrusion, but the lessons are unproductive due to Harry and Snape's mutual animosity. Throughout the year, Harry contends with various challenges, his crush on Cho Chang, public ridicule from peers in the media who dub him the boy who lies, and his struggles with the demanding school workload. Umbridge's power at Hogwarts increases, and she ultimately supplants Dumbledore as headmistress after he takes the blame for the DA and flees to avoid arrest by the ministry. Exam time approaches, and with it, the stress levels at Hogwarts rise. Harry has a vision that Sirius is being tortured at the Department of Mysteries at the Ministry of Magic. Desperate to save him, Harry, along with Ron, Hermione, Guinea, Neville, and Luna, flies to the Ministry on Thestrals, mystical creatures that only those who have seen death can perceive. At the Ministry, they discover the vision was a trap, leading to a battle between the DA members and a group of Death Eaters in the Department of Mysteries. The teenagers are outmatched until members of the Order, alerted by Snape, arrive to assist them. In the fight, Sirius Black falls through the veil in the Death Chamber and is killed. Dumbledore arrives and duels Voldemort, who then attempts to possess Harry. But the love Harry feels for his friends repulses Voldemort, who flees just as Cornelius Fudge, the Minister for Magic, and other Ministry officials arrive, finally witnessing the Dark Lord's return. In the aftermath, Dumbledore explains the connection between Harry and Voldemort, which exists because Voldemort inadvertently turned Harry into a horcrux when he attempted to kill him as a baby. Harry realizes that his and Voldemort's fates are intertwined, and that he will either have to kill Voldemort or be killed by him. Dumbledore also explains that he avoided Harry all year to prevent Voldemort from exploiting their connection. Back at Hogwarts, Umbridge is removed from her position, Dumbledore resumes his role as headmaster, and life begins to return to normal, even as the wizarding world prepares for the impending war against Voldemort and his followers. Harry, strengthened by the support of his friends and his resolve to fight the Dark Lord, prepares for the uncertain future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.